Sarah, I mean, we were hearing there about how disappointed President Macron will be, but also about, you know, the tensions, the difficulties for police. What does that, what does it mean for the monarch, the British monarch, not to be able to go to France first? Well, look, it's always said that the royals are greeted by the smell of fresh paint wherever <laughs> they go. But in this case, it was going to be paint daubing the walls with death to the king mm. and Charles III, have you heard of the guillotine? It was not the right time for Charles to go, although he was very much looking forward to this as yeah. his first state visit as monarch. I think he was pragmatic about it once he received that call from President Macron on Friday morning uh, saying, we're going to have to postpone this. The greater embarrassment lies with Emmanuel Macron, as yeah. we've heard, having to make that call. But not only was it not a good image for France to be projecting to the king and, yeah. and the wider world, it, it was also a very bad image, or certainly would have been, had we had the president of France dining with the king at the Palace of, course, of Versailles yeah. while France was burning. It, it, it was feared that would be Macron's Marie Antoinette moment. Yeah, and after Macron had to remove his expensive watch during a press yes. conference too. So on to Berlin instead. I mean, what can we expect from that leg of the tour? Well, Germany now gets the honour of being the first country to yeah. host uh, the new king. Uh, the king was invited by President Steinmeier when he was over in the UK for the Queen's funeral. And they're rolling out the red carpet. He is getting a ceremonial welcome with full military um, uh, honours at the Brandenburg Gate, the first post-war foreign head of state to do so. He's the first British monarch to address the Bundestag, Germany's federal parliament. There's going to be a state banquet at the presidential palace. He's going to an organic farm. He's meeting Ukrainian refugees and he's also travelling to Hamburg uh, where he'll see green initiatives taking place there. Much of it will be familiar to the king. He's been there more than 40 times before, but this is significant because this trip is all about building bridges post-Brexit. Yeah, sounds like a pretty packed itinerary. Meanwhile, Prince Harry is in London for a privacy case. Still some questions on whether he and Meghan will be attending the coronation, though. What do we know tonight? Questions I still can't answer for <laughs> you. OK, we are less than six weeks from the coronation and we don't have a definitive answer yeah. as to whether the Sussexes will be there at the coronation. Uh, Harry is in London at the moment for his court case. Um, I suppose he could have had a meeting with his father, who has got a couple of days free in his diary that he wasn't expecting was due to be in France. But that hasn't happened. Uh, we're told the king was busy, wasn't in London or Windsor. And likewise, uh, Prince William, Harry's brother, was out of town. Plans are being put in place, though, as if the Sussexes are coming. Mm. And I think... I would be surprised if we don't see them in Westminster Abbey on May the 6th. Yeah, fascinating. Well, we will stay tuned to find out. Sarah Hewson, our royal editor, thank you very much.